Hello everybody and welcome to the video. We are going to start this off with a very short vlog that I took last week when I went to the car dealership and was looking to buy a new car. Hi everybody, I am currently at the car dealership and I am test driving this beautiful car. It is the Honda Civic EX sedan. The sales rep is gonna get in the car with us to drive, so I just wanted to talk now before it got weird. A lot of space in here. Holy shit, what is this? I also enjoy this a lot, touch screen thing. I don't wanna, I'm not hooking my phone up to a EX and this is not my car, but I think this is fun. Go ahead and turn on your right turn signal real quick. Oh my God. Out of the light here, we'll take a left. So yes, I did end up getting a new car because my old car had a lot of issues and it was gonna cost a lot of money to fix them probably. So I just wanted to put that money into a new car that was gonna last me for longer. So ladies and gentlemen, may I now present to you my car tour slash what's in my car. What's up you guys, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first ever car tour video. This is actually my second car, but I did not do like a car tour for my previous car, which was my first car. And I wanted to, like I wanted to do a car tour slash like car essentials video and show you guys everything that I keep in my car. I just like never got around to doing it. But today we are going to be going through the car, showing you everything inside and outside and showing you what I keep in my car as far as essentials and also some accessories that I have gotten. Really quick, I just wanted to say that I'm not gonna be talking about any of kind of the logistics of the car buying process in this video. Stuff like how to pay for it, how to save for it, what things to look for in a car and why I bought a new car and what the process looks like because I actually filmed an entire video dedicated to that. I asked you guys on my Instagram story last week if you had any questions about the car buying process. So I answered those and kind of explained my experiences in that video, gave some like kind of tips and advice since I have been through this process twice now and I feel like it is pretty intimidating. I wanted to share my my thoughts and my experiences so maybe you guys could feel more prepared or just have a little bit more information about it for when you go through the whole process and make it a little bit less intimidating that video will be coming soon so stay tuned for that if you want to know anything about the logistics of buying a car what the process is like and all of that kind of stuff all right carry on i'm really excited to show you guys this car i am in love with her and i'm also going to be revealing the name it's really not that deep i don't know why i'm acting like it was a name reveal i'm going to be telling you guys what i decided to name her at the end of the video so make sure to stay tuned for that i also just wanted to say one more thing before we get started and that is simply thank you to you guys watching this and everybody who subscribes this wouldn't have been possible without you guys you guys have absolutely changed my life in ways i only dreamed of it is because of you and your support that i am able to make investments like this for myself and for my life so i could not start this video without telling you guys thank you so much and i love you you guys so much and i appreciate you so much it blows my mind that this is my life i'm still very it still shocks me every single day but i wanted to say thank you guys and i love you so much but i think that that's all i wanted to say so without further ado let's get on into my car tour <music> Hi everyone and welcome to the outside of my car. This is what she looks like from the front. Beautiful, if you ask me. Come around to the driver's side. You know, typical car look. Love the color. She's steel gray metallic. I just think that she kind of looks a little bit like a spaceship, which I'm really here for. We have our gas area, which you open like that. Interesting about this, there's no gas cap. When I saw this, I thought it was a mistake but it, it seems to not be. It says capless. I don't, I've never seen that before, but this is the back. Well, let me open the trunk really quick. Back here are some serious car essentials. I feel like these things are very, very important to have. This little scraper brush for the snow in the winter. What the hell is this? Oh, this is a license plate thing for the front, I think. Oh. 
but I don't live in a state where you need that so we're just gonna not care about that I have not been in this trunk as you can tell since I bought the car to put all this stuff in it but anyway so this bag contains jumper cables they did have a box that they came in with like directions and whatever but I actually had to use them for someone and I just couldn't fit them back in the box but it did come with this convenient little bag jumper cables are so important to have these ones are super long too got them at Walmart obviously it's important to keep an umbrella in your car you know you never know when you're gonna get stuck somewhere and it starts raining this one i really like i think it's really cute a mary poppins vibe but like an aesthetic mary poppins if you know what i mean i got this from target and then i have this duffel bag here which i think the duffel bag i got from amazon and in here are more essentials so this is fix a flat i got this at walmart in case i get a flat tire and i am not in a position Hi. In case I get a flat tire and I'm not in a position to immediately fix it. Next, these are Mylar blankets. I got these off of Amazon. They were pretty cheap. They like keep heat in. They're good as like a tarp for water. These are really useful and they're really good to keep with you. Next, we have a flashlight. Oh my God, has it been on this whole time? Batteries are dead. All right, well, I had a flashlight. I'll have a working one when I put new batteries in it, I guess, whatever. Um, duct tape. Again, you never know when you're gonna need this. It can freaking fix anything. We have this. It's this type of tool that has like a bunch of different tools in one. We have pliers, we have various screwdrivers, knives. Literally, it's like an all-in-one emergency tool. I got this from the camping aisle in Walmart, so like this is definitely something you wanna keep in case of an emergency. It's better to have something and not need it than to need it and not have it. That's my philosophy. And then finally, First aid kit, complete with, you know, band-aids, Benadryl, alcohol wipes, Neosporin, Tylenol in here, all that kind of stuff. Really, really important. So that is what is in the duffel bag. So I just keep all that stuff in my trunk in case of emergencies, really useful and important. And then that is it for what's in the trunk. I am sweating. The other side of the car, same exact setup as the, as the front, or not the front. Oh my God, I'm too hot to be talking right now. So now we're gonna get in the car because it's really freaking hot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Give me a quick second, please. Just take a quick five second break. Back. Hi everybody. Sorry if you can hear the air conditioning. It is really hot outside, so it's... I'm not gonna turn it off. But welcome to the inside of my car. I'm obviously sitting here in my driver's seat, which is very comfortable, by the way. My interior is gray fabric. I'm really happy it's not leather because in the summer, leather seats and me just do not mix. It's way too freaking hot. This is pretty much the inside of my car, so let's get into it. Alrighty, so this is my driver's seat area. My steering wheel, which has so many different functions. These, if I'm playing music, can control that. The volume this picks up phone calls this hangs up and then this one calls siri let me actually connect to apple carplay so that you guys can see all of those cool functions if i plug my phone up it gives me the option for apple carplay and then it brings up obviously music i can go through all of this like i can just do it right here on this touch screen and then there's a menu where there's a bunch of different like apps that you can go to from the screen in your car, which I freaking think is so cool. And then over here we have our cruise control. This is the dashboard. I really like that it is all digital. Over here, all these little controls on the door for the windows, the lock button, all that kind of stuff. Some like storage down here. And then there is a little compartment right here. Right now I just have my wallet. I have a mask. There's a little outlet there and I just have a whatever this is called. Here is my start stop button. This bedazzled ring on the button is from Amazon. I will have it linked down below. I am obsessed with it. Then we move to the center here. So we have obviously the touch screen, which is really freaking amazing. And then these air slash heating controls. Also have heated seats. Hell yes. My gear shifter. I just have a couple scrunchies on here, which I do for one, the aesthetic, and two, in case I ever forget a scrunchie, I just have some here. And then we have my cup holders. My glasses are in here too. And my Duncan that I got this morning. And then I have these car coasters that I got in a huge pack from Amazon. And I just think that they're really freaking cool. They're absorbent. So just put my drink there and I won't get any drink sweat. I'm just trying to keep this car as clean as possible. Moving right along, we have our center console. What I love is that I had this in my other Civic too. This thing pushes forward if you don't need the second cup holder so like your arm can sit here while you're driving. I always, always do that. So then 
open this up and I'm probably gonna put change here. I always just like to have change in case I need to grab it really quick for whatever reason. This cup holder area actually comes out, which I would don't think I would ever take it out, but it comes out. It also moves. So we have tons of room for storage in the center console. There's another little outlet in case you need it. Some of the essentials that I keep in my center console, wet wipes, antibacterial. You never know you're gonna need these, especially right now. Hand sanitizer. I always have this anyways. Another thing that you definitely need right now. I have this extra ring with a bunch of hair ties on it because I'm always losing my hair ties. A little bottle of ibuprofen in case I get a headache or something. I don't know. And lastly, just a pair of sunglasses in case I forget to bring some with me in the car. I have a spare pair in there. That was a lot of rhyming words. Spare pair in there, got it. So then over here, we obviously have our passenger side, which right now is home to the speaker I was using outside and my car air freshener, which I took off of here so I could film. I have a car air freshener coming in the mail that I ordered on Etsy and it is literally Harry Styles in a tutu and it smells like watermelon. When I receive that in the mail, I will 100% be posting a picture of that on my Instagram story. So you can follow me on Instagram to see that. Actually, I'm gonna put my hair down. Join grocery. How I turn that off? What just happened? I feel like everywhere I put my camera in this car, it just hits a button that I don't want it to hit. All right, moving on to the passenger side. On the passenger side visor, I have a tissue pouch type of situation. Got this off of Etsy, thought it was really cute. It just holds the mini packs of tissues, so if I ever just need to grab one, it's really convenient. Up here, I have a sunroof, which is really nice. And then obviously the glove box with a bunch of important stuff. So let me jump to the back. Okay, welcome to the back. It's actually very, very spacious back here, which is really nice. We have this middle section that comes down and it has cup holders. There's this like pocket for storage. These seats are so comfy. Something else that I ordered off of Amazon is these. These are like little purse bag hooks. I just think these are really convenient. Also, I have this trash can, which I bought from Amazon. The strap like is inside the center console so it doesn't fall or anything. And then the bag is snapped on like this so that it's secure. Like I said, I'm trying to keep my car as clean as possible. So trash can here, I'll be able to just throw all my stuff in there. And also if anyone else is riding in this car, they'll know to put the trash in there because there's literally a trash can and leaving trash anywhere else would be rude. And I think that that's really it for back here. There's not much. It's really roomy. It's comfortable. There's a trash can, you know, there's so many amenities back here. Storage here on the doors too, so. That is it for the back. Now I'm gonna go back to the front. Oh, oh. hi, we're back. All right, so that pretty much concludes our car tour. God, I love this car, man, I really do. I'm so happy I got her. And I think that we're gonna have a really nice life together. Oh, I need to tell you guys her name. After thinking long and hard, I had two name options that I was bouncing around my head. I'm a little bit nervous. Like once I say this, it's official. This is going to be her name. Like there's no going back. All right, so the name of my new car is Gwen. So this is Gwen. I don't know, I just think she looks like a Gwen. When I posted her on Facebook, because I wanted to update my family members and tell them what I'm doing with my life and have have them comment on my post and tell me they're proud of me. I was asking for name suggestions and I had a couple people say that she looked like a Gwen. And I was like, you know what? She does. So her name is Gwen. I love Gwen so much. That is it for my car tour. This is my first ever car tour that I've ever done. So I'm really excited about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like this. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you stayed until this point in the video, comment down below, I'm a real one because you're a real one. If you wanna see more videos from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I post a new video every single Sunday. And if you forget that I post a new video every single Sunday, or if you just wanna get notified right when I post a new video, cause sometimes I really don't know what time of day I'm gonna be posting the video anymore because it all depends on the video itself and like the length of it and how long it takes to edit and everything. So if you wanna be notified right when I post a new video, make sure you turn on my post notifications it's the little bell icon and yeah i think that's it i hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you guys in my next video bye